everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bow that looks similar to this. It has the green and white polka dot ribbon and the blue ribbon holding it and then the pretty little purple gem right in the middle. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to be using my green and white polka dot ribbon. This is one and a half inches long in width, right? And I'm just going to cut this um, 24 inches long, so two feet. Okay, so I just have out my tape measure. Or you could just use a roller and use the roller twice and that will make two feet but it depends on how big you want your bow to be. But to make it about this big, as big as my hand, I used 24 inches, two feet. Okay, so on to our first step. As you can see, one side of our ribbon has the white polka dots. The other side is just blank, just the green ribbon. We're going to lay it down where the blank part is facing up. It's a little transparent so you could see a little of the polka dots but that um, it's actually the blank side as you can see. Okay, so you're just going to take your ribbon and fold it in half. And once you um, find the middle you're going to make a crease by just pushing it down. Make sure when you push it down you don't pull apart because that will, um, on certain um, types of ribbon, that will rip up the middle. So just push down, apply pressure. Okay, and then unfold it and then as you and then you can see the crease right there in the middle. Okay, so we're going to take one side, which is going to be this side. It doesn't matter which um, side you start with, just start with one side. And then you're going to fold it into the middle so the side looks like that. Just gonna fold it to the middle, and then you're gonna flip it over and put it right on top of your crease. And do the same exact thing on the other side. Just fold it over, and then flip it and place it on top of your crease. Okay, now take another your other side, and then fold that to the middle, and then do the same exact thing with your other side. And then so, so they'll be overlapping each other. And then take your alligator clip and then secure it. So we don't want it falling apart after we just made the whole thing. Okay. And then start adjusting it if you think that it has a little imperfections or the ribbon sizes on each side aren't uneven. Just go ahead and carefully adjust those. And now you're just going to take your salon clip and clip that right over the alligator clip. And then take your alligator clip out. And then you could once again adjust it if it got messed up in the alligator clip because that normally happens. Okay. And the reason you took out your alligator clip and replaced it with the salon clip is that with your alligator clip it's too small so you couldn't tie around it but with your with your salon clip you could put the um, string into the two sides and fold and then tie it while it's still in the salon clip so you don't have to work up a hassle tying it and so I'll show you how you um, and next we're just going to take our embroidery floss or a very strong thread and then I'm just going to cut this about six to nine inches. I've already cut mine. Okay and now um, at the X part make the X part up facing up and then take your string your embroidery floss and put one 
part of the embroidery floss into one hole and then put the leftover part of the embroidery floss into the other hole. And so you could just lift it up and it'll be like that. Okay, and now you're just going to tie two double knots so it'll be secure. And I'll get back with you guys when my double knots are tied. Okay, so now that I've finished um, double knotting and tying my ribbon, I, um, I'm, I just tied it around like two times more just for security. And I have a lot of extra thread here. So I'm just going to take my scissors once again and just cut off the extras. In my last video, I said that when you're cutting off the extras, you shouldn't cut like way too close to the knot, like just like a little thing away from the knot because your knot is going to become loose and become untied. And you don't want that to happen. And so just adjust it a little if you feel that it's a little uneven. Just adjusting my bottom loop. Okay. And then decide um, which part of your ribbon is going to be the front. Like, is this part going to be the front or is this part going to be the front? Since you're putting a gem in the middle, you want to find the flattest part um, for your front. And so I think that this is the flattest part, as you can see from the side. The side of this is a little rounded, but the side of um, this side is more flat, so I'm going to make this my front. Okay? And now I am going to plug in my glue gun so it can warm up. But while my glue gun is warming up, you just want to take your light blue ribbon. This um, ribbon is 3 eighths of an inch wide, very thin. And I'm just going to cut um, about six inches from this. You don't want it to be too long because you're just going to be using a very, very small part of it for your middle to cover up that. Okay, now that you've finished um, cutting your thin ribbon um, and tying up your boutique bow, um, your glue gun, when it's all warmed up, you're just going to dot a generous amount of glue right in the middle. And make sure you have the right side up, which is the front side up. And you're just going to make this a little tiny piece. I don't know if you could see how much I put, but I put on just enough. You don't want to put on too much or else it's going to go through, um, I mean, it's going to ooze out the sides of your ribbon. But before this dries, you're just going to locate the middle of your blue ribbon and put it right on top of that glue. And wait a few seconds to push it down, because when you push it down, you don't want the glue to be too hot. And then just let that dry. And if you got, and if you got any bow, if you got any glue on your bow, you could just wait for that to dry and peel it right off. Because the good thing about hot glue is that if it gets on a ribbon, you could just wait for it to dry and peel it right off. And as you can see, this little part right here doesn't have any ribbon on it. So I'm just going to put glue there. And put my ribbon there. And I also missed a part here. So I'm going to put glue there. Now, I'm going to take your alligator clip. And on the back side here, Holding the, the, the tip, I'm going to take your glue gun and put glue all along the back of 
this. Don't put too much or else it's going to ooze out the sides. But if any, if, but if you accidentally put a little too much, that's just fine because you could just peel it right off um, the sides when it's dry. And now I'm just going to press this on my root and make sure your clip is, your alligator clip is straight and secure because when you're putting it in your hair, if it's, um, if it's like a little crooked, then your bow's going to be crooked on your hair and that's not going to look very nice. Okay. And that's pretty secure now. And just to check if it's secure, just open your alligator clip a few times. And when you open it, you want it to stay put right there in the middle. And if it's not staying put, then just peel it right off and do that step all over again. And now, you're going to open your alligator clip. And you're just going to put a dot of glue right in the middle of the alligator clip. Make this also small. And then put your ribbon right over that. Make sure your alligator clip is open the whole time. And then you could just close your alligator clip to secure it. And then the extras from that you could just cut it off with your scissors. All the, not all the way, but pretty close to the alligator clip. So there's just that little extra left. And if you can, try to cut that extra off. I barely can, so I'm just gonna forget about that. Okay, and once that's dry, you're going to take, once again, your glue gun and again put a small dot of glue in the middle okay and then take your other side of the sky blue ribbon and then just put that right on top and make sure it's tight because we want this um, ribbon to stay tight cut off the extra of the sky blue ribbon As much as you can and then turn it back over and you could keep it like this if you want but if you like adding bling to everything we're going to add our last and what I think is the piece that just adds flair to the whole thing our purple rhinestone it can be any color because I tested a lot of colors and a lot of them worked really well but I decided to use purple because I don't have a lot of purple things, so it's good for a change. And now just you're just going to take the back of your rhinestone and take your glue gun. This is probably the last time you're going to be using your glue gun if I'm right. And you're just going to spread glue all across the back. Don't put too much or, or once again, it's going to, like spread out everywhere on your bow. It's going to be pretty hard to peel off. But st stick that right on the flat part and in the middle of your bow. Like so. And then just press it down and don't let go of it until you think it's pretty good. This is how, what I end up with. And they're just the two cutest bows. And they're very simple, a very simple, cute boutique bow. And it's just so nice. And every age can wear it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you make a bow similar to this. And thanks for watching. Bye!